anatomy on grasses is done in paradermal. Most of it is done on transverse or cross section and a little bit on longitudinal sectioning. So the poster exhibits all three sections in a way that for Clarenchyma cells, we could take a section, observe its dimensions and its measurements to send to an artist to recreate on a computer program in a 3D shape. So instead of a two-dimensional block, you can look at it in a three-dimensional um, cell. So there's been published and unpublished work on Crankoma cells, and it's starting to exhibit that there may be more variation in the cell than previously known. What we noticed on the grasses is that, or in the Crankoma cells, is Crankoma cells adjacent to the bundles towards the adaxial surface, so the upper surface of the leaf, were elongated or cylindrical and almost radiate around the vascular bundle, while Crankoma cells towards the abaxial surface of the leaf, so towards the bottom, um, tended to be more irregularly shaped without a constant pattern to observe. With that said, there's a lot more research that needs to be done before further statements are made on, on the forest clade or shade tolerant grasses before we can further state you know, a constant pattern within the Crankoma cell shape. But this is just a beginning step.